Welcome back to Mad Cat Mosaic. Uh, we got a bit of a streak going, so let's see what traits we get this time. Hopefully something kind of cool. Oh, this seems... Yeah, that seems pretty strong. Alright, so we're just gonna get going with the bear fight. Not much to talk about until we clear this guy out. No, no, we do have stuff to talk about. So we've got... Yeah, let's cover the trades. Decadent, every 10 tiles use hit or save for double, so now you can see it's full. We're gonna hit our save for double next. And then Lord of the Edge, while on the edge. Oh, interesting. I do need to change. I just recently tweaked the uh, width the text goes to. And you can see it's kind of on the edge there. I need to reduce that by another pixel or two. Mm, noted. Um, while on the edge, we hit for two times. So if we were to hit, if this is a sword, we'd be hitting for quadruple. It's not, but here we hit for double. So if we move along the outside, we'll just do insane damage. I do feel like that one kind of sounds... That was one of the last ones I added, and it sounds very strong. Um, however, if you take any damage because you're on the edge and your choices are reduced, uh, then maybe maybe there is some compensating uh, downside there. These two... Oh, dude, build arounds, build arounds. I mean, this is good. Pretty easily quadruple something. Ah, uh, faint would be good. Any sort of big attacks are going to be good on the edge. Swap would have been good. Neither of the swaps are out. I wonder, do we even have swap unlocked on this computer? I'm not sure. Um, hmm. Let's just go through a little bit. Uh, three good reveal things with three maps? That's busted. I wonder how this works. That's not totally clear to me. Is it the player on the edge? Or the tile? That's probably worth testing because I'm not positive right now. <laughs> uh, so, how, what do we... Where do we start? We could go here, get this clock set up somewhere near the home and then get this and then get a map and then come down here for these two that seems really good I could also instead get blood ritual there's no spiders but it's good in general and there are three of these radioactive guys and it's good against him there's also a lantern which is fine with shuffle oh it's one long um so I think it's a tough call. Oh, pardon my yawn. Um, okay, we might take some shuffle stuff. We just gotta rest also. Oop, and we're immediately just gonna pop it, so. Okay, we're on the edge. And, I mean, we took damage, so how good can it possibly be? <laughs> okay. Took five. Now we want... To probably go... Well, if we go here... If you go here, we're closer to a reflector, which is fine. With these secret weapons, it's probably... It might trigger it once. Um, or we could go down, so that I can just maybe get down here slightly faster but if I go up I could just go through serenade and that'd be good yeah we're gonna go up telekinesis always good happy to have one here we're gonna pop the witch's lantern to save five damage for sure I took the attack second because I wanted to use the decadent trigger um, oh he's dead yeah so yeah this one it's gonna give us pretty good damage and we'll just have to try and pay attention see if we can tell Alright, how about this? Oh no, Decadent's gone already. Yeah, so we didn't get... No, we definitely got double, right? <laughs> Hit for 18. So Decadent did work there. Very interesting. Wow, he's dead. One turned. Okay. Yeah, that seemed fair. Let's keep going. 
We'll take Serenade, always. I think Serenade is very strong. Probably just want to shuffle. Well. And now we shuffle. And we still. Okay, we'll take the double damage over and get in the rest. Now we'll just full defend. Quadruple attack. Backtrack. Heal. Okay. This is insane damage. Uh, we're kind of doing it for sure. And try and work our way to the edge. Quadruple damage. Insanity. Wow. This is going to be a speedrun. For sure. There's also a lot of reflectors. We have triple reflector. We might have triple triples. Didn't get the full value out of Decadent there, but it was fine. And we just... Uh, yeah, we'll do that. We will not need the swords. We're definitely just doing swords. Let's get in the next. Um, I think that's okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, just kind of playing quickly. Let's reveal these. Yep, we hit it. it hit for a ton. Did we have Decadent up? It doesn't feel like we should have had Decadent up. Is it just doing too much damage? It was on the edge. Maybe it, the tile being on the edge is what mattered. Oh, we need to pay attention. That's very interesting. We'll take a reflector. Oh, we want to get this too. I bet Gallop is good. I like Gallop. Full Moon. Um, yeah, we gotta waste it, unfortunately. We did not manage to set up a quad hit. Risky, okay, super lucky. So now we're on the edge. Oh, we already, we can test it. That's unfortunate. Oops, uh, I meant to finish him still with just a chance of re revealing that a secret weapon for testing purposes. Alright, we'll take another secret weapon and... Oh, I didn't even have that? Why was it going to the left? Uh, we'll take the gal. That's bad. I should have... Yeah, that's bad. Especially with the boss. Well... Whatever. Okay, so now we're on the edge. Okay, we gotta do a little math. <laughs> we had this on the edge, that was um, four attack. So 54, one triggered for double, because that's 34, 34 plus 18 is 52 plus four, what am I missing? 36. 36 plus 18 is 54. Okay, so one triggered, and since we're on the edge, the tile being on the edge is what counts. I feel like that's not how it reads right now, so I either need to change how it works or um, wow, that was so simple. Yeah, change how it works, or reword the tile. Um, I'm not sure which I'll do. To be clear, I'm gonna go ahead and just gallop instead. Get in for a little damage. Oh, why do we have so much move? Okay. Let's 
triggering the rest from his... Oh, that's good. Good turn. Here, do I have a lantern? No, we should save... Using lantern for damage is greedy, especially with, now that I have a turn like this. I would have liked... Ah, oh, it didn't matter. We got that decadent on the right turn. Okay. 20. I could probably set up a decadent defense and we got damage in. Okay, this was just an easy run. I do feel like sometimes this happens <laughs> uh, if you get two traits that are just really good or really good together. Um, however, I, I also feel like it's balanced a little bit by the win streaking system if you're starting to get to that level. Because, oh, this is, oh, the lantern, lantern saved us. Because yeah, I could win this run, and I continue my streak, but I also have to be able to win the harder runs. Um, there is at least, no, there's just, there's maybe one secret weapon left. I don't think I'm going to use the reveal and put all those tumors up. That just seems risky. Okay. Is our lantern still up? Where's the lantern? No, it must be a hidden tumor. Unfortunate. Or just shuffle here. Okay, we'll hit. Use the tumor. Hit. Defend. Double damage. Get in. Okay. Here, I think we can reveal everything and then just come back and defend and kill him. We did an insane amount of damage. That was 2. 32. Or 36. 36. Yep. Yeah, so definitely them being on the edge. Um, I'll just reword it, I think. It just seems easier to do that than recode it and <laughs> puck check it again. Uh, you never know though, so make sure if you get the tray in the future, you read it again. Uh, I'll probably update that come Friday. Now I think I want a beacon. And we could take some shuffle stuff as well, That, because that gives us on shuffle becomes decent for triggering these. Because if a beacon reveals it, it'll go off. And I probably want to triple shuffle right seems good we'll also take a random here defend defend boomerang tiny bit of damage nope didn't matter actually wasted here we'll just take the rest and let the turn end here we got a secret weapon on the edge so we're getting in for some damage why is it 39 ah we got the the curse from last round we want some extra damage here like that does seems okay we'd also come up here use that and now take our horse over here probably should have just used the gallop we have all secret weapons gone so we'll just go up here didn't quite end him but I mean basically did yeah all right we are doing Pretty insane damage like every single turn. So we'll just take these two, get some on shuffle stuff, and now we just kind of want to crush. Let's go fast. Okay. Okay. Crush those. Uh, that's fine. We'll s okay, we're gonna go here. Kind of wish I could crush the other one. I think we will just reveal, like, yeah, he's just dead. That's insane. <laughs> and. Does it matter? I guess we go up. We'll get the shuffle. We'll get another map. Here, we'll use the bubble for the free move because it put a rewind under us. We'll crush one, do that, crush another. Boomerang, crush that, boomerang, crush that, boomerang here. Uh, okay, so we're not going to get the decadent trigger. We gave up our 
curse for no reason, kind of. We'll use the lantern. Get a stitch in time in case we need in the future. Douse. Again, still not called douse. I, maybe I just changed the unlock for... Because I know I changed the name, and I kind of thought it was live. I know that came up last time, too. Um, let's shuffle, get out. Boomerang. Yep, we'll just kill him. Couple things to check after this round. Uh, another map. Like, this is... This is kind of the dream. This is a dragon already. Holy smokes. Um, triple shuffle. We triggered some stuff. Oh, I thought we revealed a weapon, but apparently not. Here. We'll get another rest and then we'll reveal to the left. Tr trigger two. Uh... We could shuffle and go for more, but he's going to limit us to the 40 damage anyway. So we got to do it again. So now we serenade, now we shuffle. S set off a ton of stuff. <laughs> like, look at this. It's, it's a lot of triggers. Um, nothing insanely relevant, weirdly enough, though. Yeah, we'll use one to reveal left. Hit two. So we're maxed out on damage. Rest again. We can... Bring back our lantern, shuffle, get plus two from the rest, reveal to the left. Uh, stitch in time, rest, shuffle. Go up here, backtrack, down here for one, reveal. No point in doing that because we couldn't do more damage that turn. Reveal up, there's one more. Okay, that was insanely easy. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot of tokens. Let's do it. Let's go in here. We'll unlock a couple of things. We'll put on. We'll use this one. And we got a very scary tile, but very fun in the rare, rare uh, mosaics where it works. Let's go in and do one more. I don't know if I have time for this. I might get interrupted, but uh, ooh, we got thorough, which is revealing these corners here. This corner did not get revealed because it it does not reveal enemy transform, uh, transform tiles so you just you know it's a fog basically so it kind of reveals it um, mechanically that's kind of me skirting like fixing the issue and then we've got minimum where you hit for if you hit for less than three you're hitting for if you hit for three that's like the lowest you can hit for so anytime you hit for multiple hits of tiny amounts they get kind of jacked up so it makes bone darts hit for one more i don't see the other oh no we had we do have one gale it makes this a 21 damage hit pretty insane however the thing that stands out here we got two overgrowths we've got three furnaces we don't really have the shuffles though well we have black holes i guess that's fine what about... Hmm. No chill. No chill to take advantage of all the fogs we get if we do these. Um, huh. Well, okay, let's just take another glance. What about drain? I mean, we got... We could go two volcanoes with two blood rituals and urns. Drain definitely looks doable here. Um, what would I do if I do drain? Just left. Here, get a furnace. And then... Hmm. Well... Not quite there. I like the double stroke, but no real payoffs for it. Um... I do like the volcanoes. And I kind of want these furnaces, like, they're, they're here. I'm taking one. Whoa, what was that? It hit a tile in the corner. Now I just want to get back there and look at 
what the heck that was. That looked like a bug. Oops, move my window around. It hid a take cover when I got a take cover. Interesting. Well, that's something else to look at. Again, a lot of interesting things to look at. This is fun. And uh, we'll take another furnace. And we want to get these near home. And we don't want to replace one. It would replace an omniscience. So that's pretty bad. We'll shuffle. We can probably cheese a little bit this fight. Um, we'll use the omniscience. We could drop one here. I think I'm going to cheese it a little harder, which is... Maybe dirty. Uh, do I care? I might just stack the... I'm just going to lose the omniscience. We'll deal with it. And now... Killing this dude is actually going to be much easier anyway. And I'm going to shuffle again. I'm just going to shuffle like... Oh. I get, oops, oops, oops. Took some damage there. I would like to get the furnace off of, like, adjacent to my other furnace. And then... Well, is there... No world tree? Hmm. I guess this is pretty good with... This... Well, we're going to get some drain stuff while we decide, see if anything changes our mind in the future. A little lucky there we didn't take more than that. Here we're going to take another bit. We've already taken four. Um. Huh. Taking more damage. We have to shuffle here, so we're taking... We kind of wanted to get lucky on the shuffle there, but we did not with like a defend in the furnace. This is a bad spot. Yep. I think we shuffle. We were hoping for a furnace again. Here we might as well just hit and get the free take cover defense. Okay. That was not a very good fight for us and we got three more of those giants coming up. Hopefully that was a fluke. We'll take the backtrack to play safe. Just kind of waiting for a defensive turn from him. Which doesn't exist. Okay. We're going to use this. And then go up here. And then back to playing safe. Uh, yeah. Okay, use the take cover. Here we'll shuffle, defend. And now we want to hit three times, but I'd rather keep the backtrack than give up both for that one hit. Here. Just get a ton of backtrack. We should not need to take damage unless he hits for 16. I could take a furnace up here and only fog two things. But... I don't know, the, the upside just isn't really there for having it in such an awkward spot. Do I want these overgrowths? I guess I probably did. Do I still want them? Maybe. Uh... Here we'll backtrack at the 10 damage in and end adjacent. Same thing. Can't get back, so we're taking a few. We took, oh no, we didn't take anything to get that. That's good. So we got the, okay. Giants are crushing us a little. 
16 from that one and 8 from that one. Holy smokes. Yeah. Um, this is what we want. We're doing it. We're losing a beam of light, so this could just be total crap play. <laughs> I've given up two, two tiles for the furnaces already. Uh, and we'll see how that pays off. This is terrible. That shovel was really awkward. We'll shuffle. We'll take the reset. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Um, if we could always get the... The recharge next to our furnaces, I would love it. Here we'll break the urn, get some backtrack. Should be able to win without taking damage now. Yep. And we'll replace... One and one, because we do want free swords also. We'll also take a bandage and start healing. And then... Uh, where are... Do we... Can we trigger the furnaces still, or do I just want black holes? Build that up. Take in one. Heal, perfect. And we'll just set up the build it up. Now it's like a real real card we've got there. That was kind of a stupid play and we got slightly unlucky. Need to shuffle. We're shuffling now. Okay, furnace has saved us damage. Taking one. Maybe I didn't need to take one there. We'll defend this one. Good, got a little lucky. And we'll just use the backtrack up. Okay, that's fine, and it. Get adjacent to the take cover so we don't take more. And how do we do in the Giants? It got better. It got better. Our deck was, you could tell our deck got better. Um, let's see. We also want this urn, but we'll go here, here, and then get these two and then work our way towards heals after that probably. Nice, a lot of backtrack. I guess we didn't really need to do it like that because we had the blood ritual, but now let's go up and just drain. Is that good? Yeah, that was fine. Right. Uh Totally fine still. Okay. Perfect. The Shadow Knight, last of the tier tier two enemies. And now we've got this dude. We'll take the urn first, I think, because he can pop the urn. But then it doesn't drain so aggressively my stuff. I would like to If he doesn't drain it, there's a chance we trigger it still. Shovel won't do it. I'm just going to shovel the urn and bring the urn back and shovel the urn. That's disgusting. I was hoping for a blood ritual. Oh, there it is. But he drains it. Bummer. Okay. We're going to have to shuffle soon now, but... Right here. We'll attack. Okay. Good turn. And we got the defense all the way through, so we got the maximum heal. Oop, didn't really need to defend there. Would like to trigger the volcano. And we did. So 16 for 2, that's totally fine. Um, here... Yeah, we're gonna drain that, and that, and that, just in case. So that we'd be able to backtrack through them, and have a good chance of finding... Defense. Shuffle there while it's safe. No damage in. Um, I think I'd rather not take damage. And here we'll just drain random stuff. Take it. He would drain it probably, but there's no point in leaving it. Oops, I should have hit the urn, but again. Nope, maybe he won't drain it before we get out of here. We'll see. Let's shuffle because, yeah, more likely we'd be able to defend like that. 
here we can trigger the volcano, which is good. And get a little bit of a hit in. Okay. And with so much, we have so much backtrack that we can stay in these boards much longer than you normally might be willing to. Which, it's just good for uh, letting him heal a bit less. Yeah, we'll put it here. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay. We'll shuffle. <laughs> Pardon me. Um. I mean, this is a, it's a grindy fight we've got here, for sure. We have so much backtrack, I, like, I don't expect us to take much more damage at all. But... Oh, nice. The loot is decent against, um... Oh, so close. Blue is decent if it's near the furnaces, you get another free move out of it. Eh, I guess we'll crank it up. Shuffle, take this, this. Nope, need the blood ritual when it's revealed. This turn is close, but I don't think we will trigger it. Nope. One more? I guess we'll, we'll pop it off, get in for a 10. Definitely seems like the best play we had there. This turn we shuffle and he should die this this board. Um, okay. Also okay, get that free move. Hmm. It's fine, and he's dead. Okay, long fight, really long fight. We don't have a ton of damage. Definitely don't have much damage. Shield beam will be okay soon because of these overgrowths, but I don't know if we're going to get there. Um, Black Dragon, I think we can grind him out. Uh, let's see. Blood Ritual we want. Where's the other Volcano? Yeah, we're going to get the Volcano, and then we'll probably get like one heal and just... Should be good then. Drain that. Rest. Crush. And we just hit a random thing. Maybe there'll be a volcano. We'll get insanely lucky. Drain that one. And we hit an urn. Oops, I, and I could have definitely defended all that. Did not do too damn damage. That's okay. And already we've got loads of backtrack. Oop, I took two there, that's bad. We'll shuffle, I think we should be fine. And we were not... Well, no, we're totally fine, yeah. I think we'll keep the rest up. Yep, we can hit double. That's in <laughs> pretty gnarly. We have so much backtrack, we can just kind of play and do whatever we want, go wherever we want. Full reign of the grid. And a volcano. We definitely want the siphon. That's just a free move at this point. Yeah, we'll take one urn, take a damage, because we didn't find, and we'll hit that urn too. We've already got 10 backtrack, and we're just in, like, do whatever you want territory already. Attack, even on a 16 turn. Bunch of attacks, shuffle. 12 turn, no problem. Nah, we're not going to get... Okay, so I should have... Yeah, we take one. 
Um, I do think I did not have to take one, but it is what it is. A lot of backtrack built up right there. Now we see the volcano. Take another one. Can we get in on this? Yep, get a nice hit in. Too bad we found the um, double damage a little late there. Okay, shuffle. Let's drain a bunch of stuff. Million backtrack. Need to double check for a shadow blast. Okay. Oh, we're in a bad spot. Okay, lucky turn. Should have shuffled maybe. I think we'll just shuffle now. I'm going to keep this up for a turn and see. Yeah, I think it's going to pay off. Right? We double this volcano and just come right back and trigger it. And then we just shuffle. We didn't get like a million damage because he was defending pretty hard, but... Still good. Here we do that. And we just get, make sure we defend everything because there's no point taking damage there. Shuffle, more backtrack, infinite backtrack. And we just go here. And this turn seems scary. And we just hit though. Yeah, that would have been a bad time possibly for a big attack. I think we just take the rest and go for it. Well, I guess no, that made no sense. Cause we're going to do this for the double move for sure. And we'll set up a volcano. And this turn, he's dead. Okay. Again, these fights are pretty grindy. Pretty freaking grindy. Take the siphon. Another furnace. It's too late. We'll be replacing stuff. I could have gotten one more furnace probably though. Black hole resets our shuffle. So there's a shadow blast right here. Yeah, obviously we're taking that. I think that might be the right direction to get um, our other... Okay, I gotta play a little faster. We're on that time. Um, that may be the right way to get... Uh, can I get there? Yeah. The other tile that I wanted. Um, the shield beams, which seem kind of fun with what we're doing. Yeah, we're just kind of... Slowly... Oh. So I just took a bunch of damage right there, huh? Not great. Okay, playing too fast. Could have been bad. Um, shuffle again. Yeah, Shadow Blast is going to make this pop off like 10 times harder than we currently are. think okay that was good that was really good double volcano him for the finish yep crank up the overgrowth one more time I think we get rid of two attacks now because we're gonna get a battle or a shadow blast right here and then we'll get this heal Okay, could have taken damage there. And... Shuffle, get some attacks. I 
I should have taken the blood and gotten in there. Oops. Ah. Oh wow, I played that. Everything I did about that turn was so awkward and wrong. But I don't think it matters. We just have set up like an absurd mosaic. Yeah, we just need to find Shadow Blast. There we go. There we go. Shuffle. And again, we just want to find... Okay, there we go, he's dead. Wow. So we'll get a heal, we'll get random on drain effects after this for damage, though we don't really need them. Um, oops, I could have could have done better. Now we'll take the shuffle for the moves. We'll go this way. Wow. We have a lot of backtrack. More backtrack, a doom. Okay. Is there a Well, no wait, yeah, so we'll need a bloodlust, or a blood ritual to trigger that one. Do I trigger it or do I not take damage? I guess we'll trigger it. It's kind of bad, but yeah, we'll just take a couple. Um, this kind of removes blood ritual as like a <laughs> finisher for now, but I think not taking the damage is worth it. And I mean, it's still good. Yeah, it still ends them, and we just play safe. Okay, don't need the swords. Uh, and. There was something. The shield beam seems fun. And then we'll go toward this black powder. Why not? Defend. Set up a doom. Defend. Attack. We'll just use it. Well, we'll need a shuffle to get the a stronger one going, but... Two... Okay, we'll go through here, take the acid hit. Yeah, we'll go up here and here. Mm, we'll drain these two and then these two. We'll use that to trigger the volcano. Get the siphon, take one to shuffle. And now. No, I was gonna, yeah, I wanted to double this, but it's actually pretty bad, because he does have the minimum, oop, took damage off of that turn. Yeah, we're definitely capped out there, so we just defend. Shuffle. And we're playing pretty loosely, but it just feels like we can get away with it. I don't think I need to be so careful. Oops. Oh wow, look at this turn. <laughs> okay. Yeah, give me those tokens. Like, boom. We just got some cool stuff. I love Anchor. 
didn't realize I started hidden. I think you start with a trait that can give you a couple, but having an actual actually in the rotation is an unlock, and then Quicksilver Vile does some crazy stuff. Magic Cash is fine. Should up our on drain chances of getting an on drain deck going. Um, all right. Let's just take a look. What would I call this deck? It was not a minimum deck. It was one of my favorite things, and we... I don't think we triggered it one time. Unusual. And then we had Thorough. Also, didn't really use that at all. Did we have Thorough last time? No. Yeah, we didn't really use either. There was a couple times where Volcanoes were in the corner, and I think one time I could have made good use of it, but I didn't really. Um... Our deck was instead like a Blood Ritual Urn deck, for sure. Once we got the Shadow Blast, it just became... Like, those two things are just... that They're good enough. We had two Shadow Blasts? Or two Blood Rituals? I think we could have had... Isn't there a third? Huh. Well, we had two, and then we had two Urns. I mean, that's just a ton of Backtrack. That's really it for Backtrack, huh? Because we had crazy amount. <laughs> it's kind of silly. And then they also worked well with the volcano. Um, oh, here we go. We did have a speed burst. And then all the backtracks worked well with the siphon. And overgrowth's just a good defensive tile. Take cover did a, had a couple good turns. Um, you can see bandage was giving us numerous fights where we came out having healed, including the first boss. We only healed once and we still won with 36 HP, pretty crazy. Um, and one run before that we had the triple secret weapon, that's a pretty good, really solid start for a reveal deck. You do need the revealer, so you have to have a couple things. We had triple map. That right there is such a strong start to a deck. Uh, Everything else is just gravy at that point. And our gravy this time was like a couple shadow steps. I don't know even. It was so heavily on those six tiles defining the run. Um, and the uh, the two doublers doing silly things. Especially early on, like you just... The quadruples around the outside kind of simplified everything. Uh, Gallop setting up Decadence now and then, but not, not much. Also we had, uh, we did have Witch's Lantern and Cooldown, so, uh, that definitely gave us, we had a few turns that was relevant, and look at our enemy list here, like this was, this was farthest from close I've seen in a while. It's a lot of perfects. Five from both bosses. We didn't take more than five from anything. No heals. I think that's that's how you know it's an absurd run. Yeah, that's pretty disgusting. There's one before no heals. No heals. No heals. No he oh no, we healed early in that one. But I think our recent streak, this was the first time we've healed in the streak and we just capped out. Got our crown going. Alright, well I think that's it for now. I will see you guys next time. Uh, pretty good pretty good pair of runs. Yeah, heavy, crazy reveal one, and then a pretty good backtrack. Round before that we had the the key built in and the the bloom slash um slash key, quad key. That run was sweet. Really good drain deck, four rituals, two shadow steps, some jams, and a lot of defense on drain. This looks like a chill deck, yep, a chill with the strobe. Two chills, this one looks sweet. And you can see, like, a lot of variants from run to run. Um, that's, that's my favorite part of the game, considering... Like, I know all the little ins and outs. I still have fun because the runs vary so much from one to the next. A lot of different strategies that you can pull out of the lattice. So yeah, that's... 
that's it for now. I'll see you guys next time, I think. Bye.